The Cosby Show, a groundbreaking sitcom featuring an upper-middle-class black family, left an indelible mark on television history. Among its ensemble cast was Sandra Huxtable, portrayed by the talented actress Sabrina LaBeouf. Initially introduced as a Princeton graduate who embarks on the journey of marriage and motherhood with her boyfriend Elvin, Sandra's character, unfortunately, didn't receive the same level of development and screen time as some of her counterparts. While the show focused more intensely on other characters, Sabrina's portrayal of Sandra was somewhat underutilized. Despite the immense success of The Cosby Show's eight-season run, Sabrina LaBeouf's post-series trajectory diverged from that of many of her co-stars. While some of her colleagues thrived in the spotlight, Sabrina chose a different path, preferring to retreat from the public eye and maintain a low profile. The conclusion of The Cosby Show marked a turning point for many involved, with several cast members venturing into successful careers in various entertainment avenues. While Sabrina navigated a quieter, more private life away from the glare of fame. Sabrina, a native of New Orleans who spent her formative years in Los Angeles, hails from a culturally diverse background. Reflecting on her family history, she shares, my family is very, very racially diverse. There's a lot of Native American roots, and there's a part of my family which passed for white during segregation. Sabrina's journey into the world of acting began during her time at UCLA, where she pursued a degree in theater arts and discovered her passion for the craft. Her pursuit of excellence led her to the prestigious Yale School of Drama, where she honed her skills alongside esteemed peers like Angela Bassett, deepening her understanding of performance and storytelling. Sabrina, sharing her experiences with People magazine, revealed the stark reality of the casting landscape, noting the scarcity of African Americans who resembled her. However, her time at Yale proved transformative, instilling in her a sense of empowerment and possibility. Following her graduation, Sabrina embarked on a series of auditions, including one for The Cosby Show, marking a pivotal moment in her career. Recounting her audition process in an interview with The Washington Post, Sabrina reflected on her attempt to align with what she described as the dark exotic archetype prevalent in the industry. Despite her efforts, when auditioning for the role of Sandra Huxtable, she encountered an unexpected obstacle, age. Sabrina was informed that she was deemed too mature to portray any of the offspring, especially considering her mere 10-year age gap with Felicia Rashad, who portrayed the matriarchal role on the show. The pilot episode of The Cosby Show debuted in September 1984, featuring the Huxtable family initially comprised of four children, Denise, Theo, Vanessa, and Rudy. However, as reported by The Washington Post, Bill Cosby made the decision to introduce a fifth child into the family dynamic after the first four episodes, mirroring his own real-life family structure. According to insights from the TV Legends website, the show's director, Jay Sandrich, disclosed that Whitney Houston was initially offered the role of Sandra. Despite the offer, Whitney expressed reservations about signing the contract due to her aspirations as a singer and concerns about the potential impact on her burgeoning music career. Jay Sandrich attempted to persuade Whitney by suggesting that appearing on the show could actually bolster her singing career, but she declined the opportunity. As history reveals, Whitney Houston later rose to prominence as one of the best-selling R&B artists of all time. Subsequently, the producers and casting directors held another significant audition in New York, during which Sabrina LaBeouf caught their attention once again. Consequently, Sabrina made her debut appearance on the 10th episode of the first season, marking the beginning of her portrayal of Sandra Huxtable on the iconic television series. Being a cast member of a top-rated sitcom presented Sabrina LaBeouf with various perks, affording her the financial means to purchase a Dutch colonial house in Englewood, New Jersey. Embracing her downtime, she immersed herself in the world of antique stores, indulging in her passion for unique finds. Now let's visit the images shared in her own home. This house Sabrina LaBeouf made a savvy investment back in 1986 when she purchased a charming colonial-style home in Englewood, New Jersey for a mere $350,000. Fast forward to the present day, and the property has appreciated significantly, boasting a current estimated value of approximately $1,600,000. This expansive residence, nestled on a serene cul-de-sac, encompasses four bedrooms and four bathrooms, providing a comfortable and luxurious living space. Set on four acres of meticulously landscaped grounds, the property features paved and terraced courtyards, creating a tranquil private estate. Upon entering the home, 
One is greeted by an open and inviting layout that seamlessly connects the living room and family room, both adorned with a shared fireplace. The chef's kitchen, complete with granite countertops, opens up to the backyard and a sunlit breakfast nook through sliding doors. The dining room, boasting picturesque views under the canopy of trees, adds a touch of elegance to the residence. For those who appreciate a dedicated workspace, the private office on the first floor comes equipped with its own fireplace and overlooks the backyard, providing a conducive environment for focused productivity. The first floor also includes a bedroom and a full bathroom, enhancing the home's accessibility and convenience. Ascending to the second floor, the master suite takes center stage, featuring ample office or dressing space and an attached master bathroom. Two additional bedrooms and another full bathroom provide comfortable accommodations for family or guests. A luxurious spa, complete with a sauna and balcony access, adds a touch of opulence to the upper level. The property's allure extends to the finished basement, offering additional living space that includes an office and a full bathroom, catering to various lifestyle needs. Beyond the confines of this elegant abode, its strategic location places it conveniently close to houses of worship, shops, and restaurants, with the added perk of being a mere six miles from the bustling heart of New York City. Sabrina LaBeouf's real estate investment not only reflects her astuteness but also affords a glimpse into a residence that seamlessly blends comfort, style, and practicality. Beyond her professional success, Sabrina also found time for matters of the heart. In a serendipitous turn of events in 1987, she was scheduled to appear on a Washington, D.C. radio show and encountered the producer, Michael Reynolds. The connection between them was swift, and within six weeks of their initial meeting, Sabrina and Michael decided to tie the knot, marking a significant chapter in her personal life. In April 1989, towards the conclusion of The Cosby Show's fifth season, Sabrina found herself in a situation where she had only made 31 appearances out of the show's total 125 episodes. Expressing her sentiments, she reflected, Having been on the show for five years, I have not been able to do what I am capable of doing. I feel cheated that 55 million people a week watch something that is not my best work. The disparity between her potential and her screen time left her feeling frustrated and undervalued. Consequently, seeking avenues for artistic fulfillment beyond the confines of the television screen, she sought out opportunities elsewhere. Her quest for creative expression led her to secure a role in a Shakespearean production at a theater nestled in the heart of Washington, D.C. Despite not featuring in every episode of The Cosby Show, Sabrina found herself obligated to be present on set daily. She faced the ultimatum that breaching her contract would result in forfeiting payment for the remaining episodes of the fifth season. Feeling conflicted by the incongruity between the demand for her presence and her limited screen time, she questioned the logic behind such expectations, stating, You can't tell me we want you here and be here for us if I'm not going to work. However, amidst this discord, Bill Cosby intervened on her behalf, facilitating an amicable resolution regarding her work release agreement. Curiously, despite the desire for Sabrina's constant presence on set, the show failed to capitalize on expanding her character's role and delving into its complexities. Sabrina attributed this shortfall to the perception that she lacked charisma citing her self-identification as a trained actress rather than a natural entertainer. While proud of her professional achievements, she felt marginalized within the production, asserting, I think if you are excited about something, then you write for it. I am not written for. I play the smallest role. I don't feel like I make any contribution to the show. Contrary to perceptions, Sabrina proved anything but dull. Notably, the episode featuring her character's childbirth emerged as one of the most highly acclaimed episodes in the Cosby Show's repertoire. In preparation for this pivotal moment, Sabrina immersed herself in Lamaze classes alongside fellow actress Kim Stalton, who was pregnant at the time, extending her support by assisting in the decoration of Kim's baby nursery. Despite the episode captivating an impressive audience of 50 million viewers, Sabrina remained humble, feeling undeserving of the accolades. Reflecting on the experience in an interview with the Washington Post, she remarked, It is the most work I have had to do, the most challenging work, but still, it didn't feel like it was my episode. Expressing her frustration, Sabrina lamented the lack of focus on the profound moment of her character ushering life into the world during the childbirth episode. Rather than centering on this pivotal event, the narrative revolved more around the emotional turmoil of her on-screen husband, Elvin, in the delivery room, and the dynamics between Bill and Claire as they embraced their roles as first-time grandparents. 
Sabrina recounted how Bill Cosby eventually incorporated a scene featuring her, marking a rare instance where she received notable attention within the series. However, despite this gesture, as she had never been a central figure in any of the episodes, the Cosby Show concluded its run in 1992, prompting Sabrina to eagerly pursue new opportunities beyond the confines of the show. Following her stint on The Cosby Show, Sabrina embarked on a new chapter, delving into interior design through a program at UCLA. Her talents quickly garnered attention, attracting high-profile clients with budgets reaching up to $400,000. However, despite her professional successes, 1996 brought personal turmoil as her marriage unraveled. Reflecting on the dissolution of her nine-year union, Sabrina candidly shared with People magazine that she and her husband recognized fundamental differences, ultimately leading to their decision to part ways. The aftermath of the divorce left her grappling with feelings of disappointment and introspection. In hindsight, she acknowledged rushing into the relationship prematurely, a realization that underscored the importance of patience and self-awareness in matters of the heart. Following the dissolution of her marriage and unencumbered by children, Sabrina ventured westward, finding solace in a cozy one-bedroom bungalow nestled in Los Angeles, adorned with cherished antiques. In 1999, she reignited her passion for acting, gracing the stage in numerous theater productions. Her return to the spotlight also encompassed voice acting endeavors, notably securing a role in the TV series Fatherhood. Additionally, she made memorable guest appearances on The Sinbad Show and the CBS sitcom Cosby, reuniting with her former TV parents. Notably, her foray into the realm of horror cinema culminated in a role in the 2009 film, The Stalker Within, further diversifying her artistic portfolio. In 2014, amid mounting backlash against Bill Cosby, numerous major networks and streaming platforms made the decision to remove The Cosby Show from their lineups. This move came as a significant blow, considering the immense success of the show's reruns, which had generated upwards of $1.5 billion in revenue over the span of two decades, as estimated by Forbes in 2017. The repercussions extended beyond Bill himself, impacting the livelihoods of the entire cast and crew. Jeffrey Owens, who portrayed Sabrina's TV husband, candidly shared with People magazine the profound impact of the show's removal revealing that he was compelled to seek employment at Trader Joe's to provide for his family in the wake of the lost income stream. However, the extent to which Sabrina was affected by this turn of events remains unclear, as she has not publicly disclosed any similar challenges or changes in her career trajectory prompted by the show's removal from circulation. Based on her Instagram profile, Sabrina now resides in New York, where she continues to cherish her passion for antiques. As she approaches her 66th birthday, she radiates a timeless grace and vitality. Despite grappling with the challenge of securing a prominent role on The Cosby Show, Sabrina's legacy remains intertwined with one of television's most iconic programs. Reflecting on the show's impact, she expressed to People magazine, even though we were a black family, everyone, despite their race, could relate to us. People needed it, they wanted it, they were ready for it. I didn't realize how lucky I was to be on that show. Sabrina's words encapsulate the universal appeal and cultural significance of The Cosby Show, transcending racial boundaries to resonate deeply with audiences across diverse backgrounds. Her reflection underscores the profound impact of representation and storytelling in shaping collective consciousness and fostering a sense of shared humanity. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.